Hey there, this is Roger. Thank you for watching this video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I made this monster. These are uh, bamboo straws that I saw at Walmart and I decided to pick them up. I thought I could use them. I had the idea of threading the armature wire through the bamboo straws uh, to create, you know, to have the bend, the, the knee bend in a certain area, not the whole leg kind of bend. But I soon discovered that uh, that was a bad idea. And I've, I've been watching other style of animations where they use armature characters and really kind of analyzing, uh, you know, how they how the thing moves, how the skeleton moves within the, uh, the, the material that they put over it. And I see that rather than having the joints bend on such a tight you know, corner, that um, the, the whole arm sort of bends into a U shape rather than the elbow bending and creating a V shape with the arm. So I decided to go with uh, a Lego character skeleton the Bionicles apparently are discontinued, and they're just totally outrageously priced on Amazon. I mean, there's no way I'm going to spend a hundred plus for this this thing. So I was able to find uh, one of the Star Wars characters, and uh, kind of, you know, just stripped it down and, and used just the this the skeleton sort of custom built the skeleton so it would be the size and dimensions I need and allow for um, movement of the character. I used the wood here for the body to sort of make it a little more rigid. I was thinking that it would be kind of flexible in the, in the abdomen area, but it didn't turn out that way. So I wasn't really sure on what I was doing because I've never done anything like this before. So I was just trying to figure it out as I went. And uh, here you can see how I uh, made the mouth. I'm trying to make a mouth that the character can fit in so the thing can eat the character. And I just used some wooden dowels uh, for teeth. So I wasn't really sure on what I was doing because I've never done anything like this before. So I was just trying to figure it out as I went. And uh, here you can see how I uh, made the mouth. I'm trying to make a mouth that the character can fit in so the thing can eat the character. And I just used some wooden dowels uh, for teeth. And then you can see here where I uh, put glue over the, the wooden dowels over the teeth to kind of make them more teeth shaped.
So after I spray all this stuff on, I have to let it dry for, you know, at least an hour or so, so that it's uh, tack free. It stays flexible, so I was thinking that that would aid it in the flexibility of the, of the character. And it was, it was coming together okay. Here I'm uh, testing eyes, gotta figure out which eyes to put in. I think it would have looked pretty pretty neat in the nighttime scenes with the different kinds of lighting I was going to use on it. But like I say, the leg broke off and uh, I just decided to abandon this whole idea and start with, with something fresh. So anyway, I, I hope you enjoyed the video. Maybe it gave you some ideas on how to create characters for your own movies. And stay tuned because uh, the movie I'm working on is going to be like action-packed. It's just being delay after delay. I guess that's what they call development hell in Hollywood, simply because I'm doing everything myself and I do have a full-time job. And so this is just sort of something I do in the evenings instead of watching TV. And I'm, I'm kind of taking a little break as I can redesign these characters and you know figure out exactly how to make them so that they'll do what I want them to do on camera. And thank you for watching, and I'll try to get more videos out soon. Thank you.